Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another answer and mentions reality update video, episode 10. And you can see I have 148,000 eternities, way more than I actually need. And it's going to make this eternity upgrade go from E9 to E27. So that that's pretty good here. I'm, I'm going to do one, I'm going to do another long run, basically, at this point, or... All I really need to do is just disable my Eternity Auto Buyer. So let's do that. I should be able to get quite a lot of Eternity points from this. Oh yeah, and I should probably change this back to E150 times my current highest Infinity Point. That's pretty important as well. Okay, so it looks like I can reach just about E800,000 Antimatter and E4100 Infinity Points. This allows me to get six additional time theorems and all the way up to E18 eternity points, which is just enough to get this upgrade, which means I kind of want to do this run over again because this means I can get, well, first of all, I can get these two little upgrades, but really I can get this run again, but with five times as many eternity points, which is going to allow me to get more of the time dimension upgrades and then i think i'm going to be ready to go into eternity challenge one okay i'm back and i can get about almost six e18 eternity points and i'm mostly just going to spend these on the time dimension things i don't want to get too crazy with spending at this point because i might want time theorems down the line but i'll at least buy all the way up to this and yeah, it is, it is time to go into Eternity Challenge 1. So I think, I'm not really sure if I want to go idle or active at this point, but like it's really just a matter of if I want this or that. And I'm going to try going active at first. Actually, I first just need to get to the challenge. And I'm pretty sure, is, is this the one where it's like time dimensions are disabled? I'm pretty sure. May, I'm, I know Attorney Challenge 1 and 2 are very, very similar. So just get this. I can get Attorney Challenge 1, barely. And yeah, time dimensions are disabled. So this means I really shouldn't have bought those time dimensions because they're almost completely useless. And I'm real, not really sure if Active or Idols. The better one, I, I can probably just buy max time theorems just to see what I can get. I can get 162 and 33 and 21 so hopefully that will be enough within the challenge so let's let's go to this let's start it i need e1800 infinity points shouldn't be too too bad you can see i can reach e1100 very quickly but without time dimensions it become it becomes harder to make it all the way there so i think the easiest thing i can do here is the time study 162 is going to help quite a bit all the way up to e1500 infinity points already i don't really want to spend on this because these two might be better i'm not really sure at this point i'm now up to all the way up to e1660 i think i got this there there's no way i'm gonna fail this challenge e1700 i can probably if I can get to E2000, that means I can actually do a second iteration of the challenge. So that's that's probably something I could actually do, especially if the reward is useful. I don't think the reward is that useful for being this challenge, but here it is. E1833 infinity points. It's probably possible to get... I, I really think it's actually possible to get a second completion of this challenge. Because you can see next run I can get all the way up to E1929 infinity points. So yeah, we're we're gonna complete this challenge. Just redo the exact same study tree because it it definitely worked and it works well. And redo Eternity Challenge 1. This time the second time. So it's really just the almost ex the exact same thing. You can see what the reward is. It's a time dimension multiplier based on time spent this eternity. So it's it's going to be completely useless for this challenge. 
specifically, but like outside of this challenge, it's going to be very useful. So I'm, I'm just going to get these two things because it doesn't really cost me anything. And I can just, yeah, it's, it's going to be easy to reach E2000. And there we go. I can get all the way up to E2021 infinity points. I, it's a possibility I could even reach E2200, but I don't, I'm not sure if I can do that yet. So I am going to not do that. And instead, I'm going to go for Eternity Challenge 2. The first, the first completion of Eternity Challenge 2. This also shouldn't be too bad, especially considering what I got with Eternity Challenge 1. And the reward, the reward is even nicer now because if you, if you look here, you can see what the reward is currently and what it'll be the next time. So 25 times multiplier to time dimensions is not too shabby. So here we go. Eternity Challenge 2, it is infinity dimensions are disabled instead of time dimensions are disabled. And basically I need E7, E975 infinity points. So that's why I went with time dimension path instead of infinity dimension path. So I can I can quickly get all the way up to E700 infinity points, but things get a little bit harder after there. I do not want to get time study 162 because it's useless. Same with 21, it's almost completely useless. Um, 20 or 31 might be useful, but I'm not really. I'm not sure if I can get or I. I guess I can get that, because unspent time theorems do absolutely nothing for me. And there's no better way to spend them. So, that's everything I can do in my time study tree. And I have... Yeah, this is going to be easy. E975 infinity points, probably next run here. Because replicated galaxies are still powerful. There it is. E986. I kind of want to see what... So, I'm going to complete the challenge. I want to see what the next goal is. E1150 doesn't quite look possible at this point. And the reward is a first infinity dimension multiplier based on infinity power. So I think I want to try Eternity Challenge 3 next. Um this one this one maybe this one may go a little rougher than the first two. But I'm gonna try. And it's mostly because it costs 40 time theorems, which means I don't have all that much to spare. And also I need to get this stupid requirement out of the way first. Okay, there we go. I can unlock Attorney Challenge 3. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, it's Antimatter Dimensions. 5 to 8 don't produce anything. And sa Dimensional Sacrifice is disabled. I only need E600 Infinity Points for this. So let's let's see if this is possible. Right off the bat, I can get E300, E400, but I think it's going to be after this where it's just going to become increasingly hard to get infinity points. I'm not getting any replicated galaxies yet because I'm at a pretty low amount of infinity points. Um, I probably want to get something like this over that because I'm not even getting that many replicated galaxies, and this actually does something useful. So... E524, ooh, this, this is going to be actually pretty rough. Like, I can keep making it just a little bit quicker to get replicated galaxies. It's 21 seconds, this is going down, so maybe, maybe I can just do some very quick runs like this. My replicani is increasing, so that is making it better, but maybe I want to go idle path or something like this. And now, as I have lower replicanti, I can't quite get as much infinity points. So what it, what I just did there was I crunched, and then immediate crunched when I had high replicanti, and then immediately crunched after, so I could try to get like a bit more infinity points. I'm not really sure if this challenge is possible. Because it does go up as I get replicated galaxies, but I feel like I chose I chose the wrong time study or something. Because this this is pretty rough. Like I'm still not gaining as much as I would be, even here after a few replicated galaxies. So I'm not really sure 
if I can complete this challenge. Well, this is actually a hopeful sign. I'm not even at max replicated galaxies, and I actually am gaining some infinity points here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crunch at this point, and I can get replicated galaxies a little bit quicker, and hopefully this will allow me to push just a little bit farther. And I'm gonna be getting two more replicated galaxies at E575. That might make the difference. Not really sure at this point, but. I guess all I need to do is just wait for more infinity points. Or just not infinity points, more replicated galaxies, so then I can get infinity points. Okay, now I'm up to max replicated galaxies. Well, I could get up to max replicanti, but that's not really going to matter very much. I just want to... Actually, no, I kind of do want to wait because then I get it kind of quicker. But then I'm also losing infinity points. Anyway, I'm up to max replicate. Replicanti. I'm still actually gaining infinity points here, so hopefully this will be the last crunch I need to do to beat the challenge. I can now get a replicated galaxy every 10 seconds, and I can get all the way up to 15 replicated galaxies, so this should be possible. I might, I probably should have rather went with the idle path. I'm not really sure when these cross, like how, when 143 becomes better than 141. But I kind of want to just take things a little bit more active right now because it sucks having to wait. And I want to, like, record all these episodes in one go. And we can get E600 infinity points here. want to go a little over just because I don't spend it all. And there we go. Eternity Challenge 3 first time. So what this is going to do is it increases the multiplier for buying 10 Antimatter Dimensions from 2.2 to 2.92. I think this, wait, maybe it's 2.4. I, I know once I get five completions of this, it becomes six. So this is actually pretty good. I can, I can get, hopefully with all these rewards combined, I can make a good amount of like infinity points and Antimatter, or at least get some more time theorems. So I kind of want to do that. I also want to make a preset for like my time study build. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this my one preset for just basically it's just going to be when I want to grind like antimatter and infinity points so I can get more of the just more time theorems because that's what I'm missing. Hmm. I, I never actually noticed that. Mention split preference, pace split preference. I'm usually going to be wanting to go time, and then usually in, then infinity, then antimatter. Oh, nope. It's, that's not how you do it. Usually time is first, infinity is second. You really want to get, I only want to get this when I don't have enough time theorems, or you're in specific turning challenges, and then usually active. So I'm going to... I'm going to, oh, okay, I, I need to hold this and then save. So there we go. This will be the first time study preset. And I should probably actually do 10 eternities just so I can get more eternity points because this is actually also the main way I get eternity points, not just grind antimatter and affinity points. Well, it looks like I'm going to get pretty far, like I'm already at E3300. E3400 infinity points. I'm not anywhere close to my max replicated galaxies. So, yeah, that, that's pretty good. And But if you really want to see how far I'm going to get, you're going to have to wait until next episode. So, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.